Georgie left Darcy on the new season of Darcy and Stacy season two. Or did he? Guys, the new season of Darcy and Stacy season two is coming out in like less than a week. It's coming out on July 19th, that Monday, and I'm so excited. And we got to see a very long, like an eight, nine, ten minute sneak peek of the new season. And guess what do you guys think happened? Because last time we saw them on the end of season one, Georgie got down on one knee. He asked her the question. He worded it really weird. He was just like, you know, will you? It was, he didn't even say, will you marry me? He was just like, marry me? He was really weird. Anyway. They got engaged. He was crying. She was crying. They ended up going and seeing uh, Stacy and Florian. It was all sunshine and rainbows. However, the next day, what do you think happened? It might have actually been 48 hours later, but it was still like a day or so later. What do you think happened? Darcy woke up and Georgie was gone. Part of me loves the drama with Darcy. Part of me starting to kind of get sick of it. Here's the deal though. Uh, Georgie apparently left. They got into a big fight the night before because Darcy was asking questions, which I will say Darcy's incredibly dramatic, but she kind of has the right to because she is apparently marrying this guy and she really knows nothing about his past. She doesn't seem to know much about his money and his work and all that kind of stuff. And that's going to be like the ongoing theme, I think, for this new season, which is airing in like a week, is the money. You know, where does this guy make his money? Why is he dating someone so much older? Like, like those are kind of the questions, you know. And of course, you know, honestly, it's like Darcy should be asking herself that because it's like, where do you make your money, Darcy? But... Anyway, yes, they got into this big fight. I think she wanted to know more about his ex-wife and his dating life and just how everything came together and his work and his family, and he refused to say it. Now, that's what Darcy said, so maybe Georgie will give a totally different story. But in this sneak peek clip, we got to see Darcy wake up. She was crying. I'll try to add a screenshot so you can see it right there, how she looked. It was just the fakest thing. She basically put on a bunch of makeup, went into the bathroom, rubbed half of it off, so it looked like she just got done crying, and then she was walking around like trying to fake cry. It was so annoying. She was fake crying. Then I mean, nothing really happened. She, she, she explained the fight about how they, she was asking questions because she's going to be marrying this guy, which the way she described it does seem fair. Now, if it's, you know, if there's more to the story, then I'm kind of like, yeah, that probably, I don't even know. I just feel like Darcy was kind of holding back some stuff she might have been saying because for, Dar for George, I mean, just to pick up and leave. She had to have really been pushing some buttons. So I don't know. It is very odd. We did get to see that he was like looking for like a sugar, what's the word, like a sugar mama? What I don't even know. Whatever that is. Because he, I think, you know, if you don't know, Darcy is older than him. And that was like in the sneak peek of the season that he had something with that being on some website. I don't know. Anyway, I think she has some concerns about the money, the ex-wife and his family and how he came to America and what he's doing for work and all that kind of stuff. So she was asking questions. He freaked out. He ran off. She ended up seeing Stacy. They drove around with the mom and she told her mom the news. Hey, by the way, she goes, he popped the question. The mom was sitting in the back, back seat of the car and Darcy goes, he popped the question. And the mom goes, oh, okay. She had no idea what she was even saying. And then, you know, Darcy's kind of laughing. It was actually kind of funny. And then she said it again. She goes, hey, he popped the question. And she just said, all right. And then she finally goes back and goes, look, here, I got it. And then the mom was just going, oh, my God. Like, he actually asked you to marry him? Obviously, I think they met They met him. They met George maybe two or three, maybe three or four times. Not a whole lot. Of course, this was filmed at the middle point or so of the pandemic. So, it kind of makes sense that they haven't met Georgie a lot, but like Georgie definitely didn't go and ask the parents, at least not the mom's permission, or it wasn't anything like that. It was like, you know, guy, you know, met the parents, liked Darcy, and wanted to get engaged, probably wanted to also stay on a TV show, so he asked her to marry him, but um, yeah, you know, Darcy didn't want to tell her mom, but of course, we all know she's just, you know, so desperately trying to get married and engaged, so whatever. The mom was just like, I know she wants to get married. I'm happy for her, but I do think it's a bit soon. And then towards the end of the sneak peek clip, we did get to see finally Darcy. You know, she was telling Stacy. Stacy was driving around. They were going here. They were going there. And then Darcy finally tells Stacy, okay, he's back home. So she drops Darcy off at a hotel. Apparently, uh, I guess George is living out of a hotel, which it's like, wouldn't that get incredibly expensive? Do you like an Airbnb? I don't even know. It just seems God, wouldn't a hotel be really expensive? But maybe not. Who knows? I don't even care. He's living out of a hotel. She goes back to the hotel. And then, you know, he's sitting there with his hoodie on. And he's like, you know, all mad. And so I'd say, I'm like, what, what happened? Like, seriously, what did she say that made this guy so mad? So I don't know if there's more to the story. I'm sure we are going to find out on Monday. But yes, Darcy and Stacy is back. I am. Um, at this current state, I am excited. After I saw that sneak peek clip, I got a little wishy-washy. Because it reminded me, seeing Darcy fake cry and scream and rant and rave, it just reminded me how fake she is and how much she loves attention, how much she so desperately wants attention to stay on this TV show. And that doesn't really excite me. But the drama and Florian and the whole nine yards, that kind of somewhat sort of makes me a little bit excited, at least for now. And the other thing, too, is when we don't have a Monday show, I... I used to love The Bachelor, Bachelorette. 
kind of just, I don't even know. It's just, that show's like so fake. It's like, it's like awkwardly uncomfortable fake. It's like, because the people, here's my problem with The Bachelor. I don't want to get off a tangent, but my, my whole point is we don't have a Monday night show. Now we have Darcy and Stacey. The Bachelor, I kind of slowly stopped watching because it's like, they don't want to find love. They're not there for the right reasons. People want to go on the show for fame. And yes, that is kind of how Darcy and Stacey are, kind of, but I just like watching them. I don't know why. It's just a little bit different, kind of entertaining. So we shall see. It sounds like we might have a new good Monday night show which I am very excited about. It comes out on Monday, uh, July 19th. And yeah, I think it should be pretty good. So I'll let y'all know. But if you don't already know, spoiler alert with Darcy and Stacey, you know, Georgie left her. And then the stupid thing is like two weeks ago, they were in Miami together. So spoiler alert, sorry, I just kind of set up, but it's like they were posting at the exact same restaurant at the exact same time in Miami. The dumb thing is they weren't posting each other's faces. It was just like they'd post a picture of the food, but it was the exact same food at the exact same restaurant, at the exact same time, in Miami. So it's like, you're obviously together. And that was like a week or two ago. And before I sign off for the day, we kind of have a little bit of a business, I don't even know what the word is, a drama with Yara. And um, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. I don't think anything of it, but I don't know the whole story. So let me just let me just say, let me explain what's going on. I did know this, Yara opened a store, fantastic. A bunch of people have, uh, Kenny and Armando have. The only thing different is most of these people that sell merch, like literally everyone did. Okay, um, Ed did, he has his stupid clothes line. Angela did. I think Soja Boy maybe did something. A bunch of people were, they were selling merch. A bunch of people. Kenny and Armando, a bunch of people. Yara started on clothing line. The only difference is it's not just a stupid merch line where it's a picture of like, you know, her face and Joey's face like how Ed's is. This is like a legitimate clothing fashion line apparently. And so I just thought, cool, whatever, you know. And she, you know, the, the controversy is this. People found on Alibaba, if you don't know Alibaba, is Alibaba is this it's like a directory site, kind of, where you can we you can contact and work and buy things from overseas manufacturers. That's basically all it is. Of any extent, you can literally buy and work with any manufacturer, pretty much even around the whole world. I think even American manufacturers are on Alibaba now. But anyway, it was big for overseas, mainly in China. People found she had this jacket that she was selling on her site, and now people found it on there. The exact same thing. People are kind of getting mad at her for. But here's here's the big iffy thing: is did she say she made it from scratch? I never heard that, but people were acting, they're saying to me and saying that Yara said that she, you know, hand designed these things and you go on Alibaba, you can buy the exact same thing for like pennies in the dollar. So I didn't think it was a big deal because I don't know. I mean, but see, I, see if she, if she came out and said that she hand designed the stupid things, then that is stupid and that's a blatant lie because it's like, well, she didn't. I mean, you get them on Alibaba, you can get, they're just a, it's just, it's a wholesale thing. You can, anyone can buy a million of them and sell them. So that's not true, but I never heard her say that. So I don't really know. She's getting me a bunch of heat for it. People are kind of actually mad at her for I put it, saying that, but it's like, if she didn't say she made it from scratch, um, I don't know. It's just, it's like a wholesale thing. She bought a discount wholesale, bought a bunch of them. She's selling them on her site. I, maybe she's charging a lot for it. I really have no idea what the drama is, but everyone's kind of sending it to me, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. If she said that she made it from scratch, though, that's where it's kind of a little bit of a controversy. But yeah, I'm kind of just like, mm, whatever, who cares? I don't know, I'm not, to me, I, I don't, I mean, I don't I wouldn't buy the crap anyway, even if I was a girl. The stuff, to me, doesn't seem, I don't know, seems kind of strange, but whatever, teach their own. Yeah, I didn't think it was a huge deal. Comment below what you guys think. That's why I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think if it's a big deal or not? I guess it kind of just comes down to if she lied. But if she never said that she made it from scratch, I just feel like she bought the stuff and she's reselling it. So what? I mean, I don't see that big of a deal. Maybe the prices, the prices did seem high, but I don't know what the heck anything sells for. I literally haven't bought new clothes in like a million years. So I have no idea. But anyway, that's the Yara controversy. And we have Darcy and Stacy, and I will let y'all know if anything else comes out with either of those two. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Tap the comments and the like button below. Let me know if you're going to be watching Darcy and Stacy. I kind of got a lot of heat and hate, honestly, which is like so funny. People give me hate. It's like, I'm watching a TV show. People gave me so much hate last year for talking and watching about Darcy and Stacy. It's like, I like this show, so don't watch the video then if you, if you hate the show. If you hate Darcy, I don't even, who said I like Darcy? I can't stand Darcy, but I think the show's kind of entertaining. So comment below if you're not gonna watch it. Oh, you can also tell me whatever, but if you are gonna watch it, let me know and I will keep making the Darcy and Stacy videos. Also, unrelated side note, I think today I might do a Love to Lock Up video. I think I might record one of those too. Um, I, I've been meaning to. I get so caught up, honestly. The issue with me for Love to Lock Up is it's on Friday night, and then I get I forget about it the night. If you honest, it's on, then I get busy, and then that's kind of the issue. I'm trying to catch up. I am watching it live every Friday night, so I love, 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 love that show. Literally 
Love After Lockup is my favorite show, probably, honestly, you guys of all time. Well, anyway, sorry for that rant, um, but yeah, I want, I want to just give you guys an update that I'll probably be back with Love After Lockup maybe today, maybe either tomorrow, I don't know. Either way, though, thank you so much for watching, guys, and y'all better please stay tuned for many more videos.